um, a 2008 iMac uh, to a solid state hard drive upgrade um, from the original um, you know mechanical hard drive now what makes this particular iMac um, unique or this particular video unique and then uh, why I'm talking about it is because um, in the 2009 and I believe it was all, all 2008 all the way up to 2011 the IMAX had a hard drive sensor in them uh, a hard drive temperature sensor as, as a matter of fact um, so there was three cables that came off the back of that um, uh, off the back of that hard drive uh, uh, one was of course the power the other one was the SATA connector which most everybody's familiar with um, who works on computers and then the third one which is this one right here I'm doing this backwards there we go that is your smart sensor uh, SMART which is an acronym I forget it what it means exactly um, uh, which is unimportant at this particular juncture uh, but what is important is that doing the upgrade, you you remove that hard drive and you put the new solid state in it. And the new solid state um, hard drive doesn't have a temperature sensor in it. Um, all the smart is built into the hard drive itself, and it's right off the the SATA bus. And you know, if you got a motherboard that supports smart on the SATA bus, it'll support it and it'll read it, and all's fine and dandy. Well, that particular model needed that. Um, temperature sensor probe because without it what would happen is is that <laughs> the fans would kick on as soon as you boot that computer it would sense a failure a fault and then the fans would run at full speed trying to cool this, to cool down this uh the, this hard drive uh because it thinks that it you know went all haywire and whatnot and and uh is out of order and it wants to save your data for you which is a good thing thank you apple thank you for thinking of that you know those 11 years ago great idea but it presents a problem what do you do with a situation like that well the answer was really quite simple simple <laughs> what you do is you take and you cut off a piece of that so this is actually the the um the connector end that goes into the hard drive so there's and then there's another end that is about on six inches long then then connects into the motherboard so you snap off a the the connector in and then you attach to it this right here this is a 2N 3904 I think that's what it is yep 2N 3904 PN, uh, NPN switch uh, NPN transistor as a matter of fact so you take your uh, your transistor and you take now well, the way a transistor works is you have the emitter the base and the collector and actually on transistor um, they can be any of these three depending on the manufacturer so um, what I'm telling you here applies only to the 2N 3904 it doesn't apply to anything else so in this case the emitter was is the far uh, far right hand <laughs> the far right hand as, um, as you were looking at it you see how this transistor has got this little um, semi-circle shape to it there's a flat end here on the front so if you're looking at that flat end and you and you have it in your hand and I'm looking at it this way it actually be your left hand side so the the emitter side so you take that emitter side and you connect it to the gray end of this particular cable and then you bundle the base and the collector together and then you attach that to the black end and then what you have is a replacement temperature sensor and then all you do is just plug it into the to the um, motherboard and away we go <laughs> if anybody remembers that cartoon um, Bugs Money <coughs> I believe it was um, and that solves that problem so uh, I, I thought it was really interesting it was the first time I'd actually come across that I've come across drives um, that have um, on PCs that you know they have some sort of smart technology in it that has a sensor that um, senses it and then you just go into the BIOS and you disable it you know but because this was actually so old um, in terms of its years years in age I, I think you know the 2008 2009 iMac is 
with a solid state hard drive and it is just as relevant today as it was when it was brand new as a matter of fact the solid state hard drive in it it works with the way it was intended to work um which is most older computers i i have a feeling now you know pcs unfortunately you know I, anything older than say five or six years old it has to be a really good high-end computer to be six years old and throw a hard drive or throw a throw a solid state hard drive in it to, to make it perform but or macintoshes you know they really do make great computers great pcs <laughs> um since they got away from the power pc chip um great hardware and so at 2008 you know something that is 11 years old you put a new hard drive in it a new solid state hard drive in it that thing runs really great um and it's the perfect computer for somebody um who doesn't need the latest and greatest who isn't doing gaming um you know and it's great looking i mean those things are sexy so of which you know the world knows apple makes really sexy looking computers uh, they're sleek and you know they've they've got nice edges to them and they're always just well built with machine metal and they're just visually stunning computers um if you can say nothing else that is the one thing you can say about all of apple products generally speaking they are just visually stunning and the attention to detail on them is perfect um everything else you know the internals you can there's some discussion some people love them some people hate them i don't care one way or the other <laughs> Uh, I'm agnostic when it comes to, to technology. So thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to share that to you and share that with the world, um, particularly for other techs out there who are looking to fix this, you know, to do a fix like this. Uh, you know, there's stuff out there on the Internet about it as well. But, you know, the people, people out there have, for whatever it is, they don't give a, they don't, elaborate well enough for somebody who doesn't know a whole lot about electronics um to go oh yes duh <laughs> that's what i wanted so this i made this video mostly for you you techs out there um and i hope you enjoy it and um subscribe to the channel and we'll hopefully have some more good information for you at a later date thank you